Hi guys, today I finally got time to make a video about power consumption of this sensor, sensor tag 2 from Texas Instrument. I would like to know what is the current in different modes, like in standby mode with different sensors turned on and off and um, we can see how long this uh, device can work standalone on a single coin uh, battery. So. In order to do that, I made a little contraption. It's uh, it's um, a two-sided uh, kind of electrode. I call it. I don't know how else you call it. So it's a um, uh, electrical tape in between two aluminum uh, tapes. Right. Both sides have uh, insulators for alligator clips, and I'm planning planning to insert this over here between battery and PCB and measure the current. Uh, I'll be using my Fluke multimeter and I use this alligator clip um, probes. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. So first of all we put this together and ins insert it in the battery compartment. Now we attach electrons. Let's attach it this way. All right. So there is some uh, current. We can see some um, current going already, and we see LED blinking. And um, <laughs> interesting enough. Uh, you see how jumpy is as uh, is uh, current is like 37 all the way to 1 milliamp 0.37. Um, so I believe this is when this LED blinks, current jumps, and uh, no LED is pretty low. So we can try. Here's the mark 1.92 is maximum. Very interesting. So two milliamps. Uh, just for blinking LED. Well, I don't know what else is going on there, but it's kind of funny. All right, let's stop that. So let's use our phone in order to connect uh, to the device. All right, so here's the BLE sensor tag from Texas Instrument. This is a software can download from App Store and um, sorry from Google Play or I bet you can download also for um, iOS from App Store. Let's scan and here's our device. It's still recording. Um, let's connect to it. Sorry, let's connect to it. It's connecting. All right, we start seeing some interesting numbers. Okay, right. So, so let's see maximum consumption, maximum current at uh, just default mode. It didn't play with anything, we just connected. So it's 4.7 milliamps. Interesting. So uh, my idea is to actually turn off all sensors and see what would be the minimal consumption and then turn on all sensors and put them on maximum um, data, data rate and see what would be the maximum current uh, consumed by this device. Alright, so let's give it a shot. So turn off everything. Okay. So I'm using the max mode on my Fluke multimeter and it's like 44 milliamp, uh, 0 0.40, 0 0 0.5 let's say milliamp right now. So no sensor is working and it's 0 0.5 milliamp. Okay. So let's try to turn on sound sensors. The, one of the most interesting sensors for me would be a, a motion sensor that's accelerometer, gyro, and magnetometer. So, oh wow. So, <laughs> looks like a uh, motion sensor consumes a lot. It's wow. 
this thing just crashed. Interesting. Okay, well, let's reconnect. Okay, well, now uh, it's all de to default settings, and I have to turn on, turn off all sensors again. Yeah, I actually noticed this software a bit buggy, so it crashes from time to time. Okay, and I would like to actually put uh, 100 millisecond refresh rate, so it will update motion data pretty fast. Look at this, and let me see. Would be the current in this um, in this mode. So for 424 just for um, motion data sensor, which is I think it's MPU 9250. All right, that's cool. Okay, let's turn everything on. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, another test. Turn this off. I said turn this off. Man. Okay. And I'd like to see humidity and temperature sensors. Yeah. Hello. All right. I'm in temperature, IR temperature and humidity data. Okay, let me reset. So it's probably around point, point 0.8 milliamp. Interesting. Okay, we obviously can make a refresh rate as slow as possible because yeah, 0.84 milliamp, pretty good. All right, okay, let's make everything as fast as possible and see the maximum possible current this device. Oops. Yeah, this software is a bit fiddly. All right, you have everything. Almost everything. Okay. So now all sensors are working at the maximum data rate and it looks like it's 5.28 mi uh, milliamps. All right. So the main goal of this exercise actually to see what's the maximum, minimum and uh, power consumption of some of the sensors to see how long this uh, sensor tech 2 can actually survive or work on a single um, coin cell battery. Um, well, at the f at the, I know this typical coin cell battery probably has two, 240 milliampere hour. So, well, just the simple division 5 by um, 5 by 240 give us not that really much time. So, if you want to, for example, put it somewhere and use it for a long time, you would have to sacrifice some sensors. So it's not gonna work for months and months for you. So yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I was actually hoping even for less. Um, for, for Well, obviously the, big, the biggest hungry, uh, the, the power hungry device is the MPU 9250, which is motion data sensor. So. So without that sensor working, oh sorry, we have 1.4, 1.56 milliamp. So which is decent. Let's say we can round it to two. It's still going to be 120 hours, which is you know not that much really. So it's only like a few days, right? So I don't even know what to think. So I'm not sure if we can optimize something here. Um, 
like how far we can actually you know how slow we can do and refresh rate here so it's every what, two and a half second All right light sensor two and a half second So one milliamp, so substantially smaller. So one milliamp, 240 hours roughly on one battery, on one single coin cell battery. Yeah, I think this is, um, well, kind of forgot what type of battery is this. 2032, probably something like that. Okay, well, well, interesting. Apparently, I do have a um, firmware upgrade for this uh, sensor tag. I uh, didn't really pay attention to this before. So, um, I'm actually thinking to do another um, video about firmware upgrade because it looks like it has to be done in two stages also. Uh, I'll take a look what exactly um, was, um, was the change list, for example, in this firmware upgrade because there is a zero point and um, 089 to 091 and then second stage is 101 uh, interesting um, obviously all my findings I'll post on my blog and link will be down below